Hey guys, Brian here at the Butcher Shop. It's Brat Fest this weekend here at the Butcher Shop. We're gonna go over making bratwurst for you guys today. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is beer brats. Uh, so no, we don't drink on the job here, but we're gonna use some local Nikasi Brew IPA out of Eugene. We also have our seasonings here for our beer brats. And then of course, our protein. This is 100% ground pork shoulder, uh, ground one time through the sausage plate and one time through the chili plate. They give it a nice texture, a nice bite when you're eating it. That way it has a nice feel in your mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and start by adding this pork to the mixer. Now this batch here, this is a 25 pound batch. Um, it's gonna yield us four brats per pound, so we're gonna get about 100 bratwurst out of this batch. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on now. We're going to go ahead and add the seasonings and our beer to it and let it get a good, nice blend. That way the seasoning profile goes even all the way through the meat. We're going to go ahead and add this seasoning nice and evenly all the way across. That way we get a nice, even flavor profile and we don't get pockets of seasoning where it has more flavor and less than others. Okay, same with our beer. We're going to pour it in nice and slow. Nobody likes their beer to foam up. Again, nice and evenly dispersed across the meat. This helps uh, the seasonings get in the meat and mixed in well so that they don't have uh, dry spots. Now this machine here is a double action mixer. If you can see inside, the external paddles are rotating to the back, the internal paddles are rotating towards the front. That gives it a better blend and more of a massage instead of a smear for the product. That keeps the definition and nice uh, product bite and feel for your finished product. We're gonna mix this for about two to three minutes. Make sure that everything's nice and blended all the way through. And when that time is done, we're gonna go ahead and pull the meat out of the mixer and move over to our stuffer. So one of the other bratwurst that's really popular here at the butcher shop is the Sheboygan bratwurst. It's a Midwest fan favorite. We brought it out here to the West Coast. Everybody out here loves it. Uh, sausage is universal no matter where you're at in the world. Uh, these seasonings here are real simple. A little bit of sodium, not too much, which is salt. Uh, some spices, some garlic, some onion powder, uh, some nutmeg, and a little bit of allspice. And then there's a little bit of dextrose in here. Just a really super fine, non-complex sugar. We're gonna add these seasonings to our meat base, along with a little bit of water to spread those seasonings around and get them to go into the product evenly and disperse for a nice even flavor profile. Okay, so now we have all of our meat mixed up. It's time to come over here to our stuffer. We're gonna go ahead and put the meat in the top of the hopper here. It has a vacuum pump at the bottom and an auger inside that spins around that pulls the meat down through. It's gonna go ahead and exit out of this horn right here. And then we're gonna stuff these into an all natural hog casing. So this is what we use. This is a 32 to 35 millimeter all natural hog casing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and slide this on the horn, like so. Pull the plastic sleeve out, it's on the tube, and ready to go for us to stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and add our meat to the uh, stuffer now. All right, turn our machine on. Gonna tie a knot in the end of it. Bring our casing brake to the machine. We're gonna go ahead and start making bratwurst. Now I have this machine set so that it makes a four ounce bratwurst each and every time, uh, which is I have 113 grams. Everything's done in metrics on this machine. As you can see, it's got a nice particle definition inside the brat. This natural casings give it a nice snappy bite when you bite into it. And they're ready to go on the grill from here. Okay guys, so now we have our bratwurst finished and packaged up. Again, a nice, tidy, neat package for you to take home. The beautiful thing about bratwurst, guys, is that they're so versatile. You can bake them, you can broil them, you can throw them on the barbecue. Uh, soak them in beer if you like. They're just quick, easy, friendly to use. 10 to 12 minutes on the grill if you choose to go that way. Boil them in a pot of hot water on the stove if you wanna go that way. 100% pork shoulder, no additives, no fillers. Just good, solid, protein-based meat here, guys. They're fantastic. I always make these on a Thursday or Friday so they're fresh for the weekend. 
We have them in the counter. We also carry them in the frozen section. We fresh freeze these so they go directly to the freezer so they're never aged. Fresh frozen is always the best way to go with these products if you don't get them fresh. This weekend's brought fest down here at the butcher shop. Come down and see us. We'll have them on the grill. You can purchase them cooked, ready to go on a nice custom roll, sauerkraut, mustard, whatever you like. We'll have all the fixings to go with them. Or you can come by and get a package. They're just $5.99 a pound, extremely cheap, friendly on the grill, quick, fast, make your next function a fun one. Have a bratwurst. Come down and see us at the butcher shop. Appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy lives to watch this video. Like us on Facebook. Hit us up. Let us know what else you'd like to see do videos on. We'd be happy to do that the best we can for you. Thanks and have a great weekend.